Cracks and clan members, poker fans, and others of some fun this video. I'm so it's Cracksin, and today I'm here to review episode 86 of Pokemon X and Y the English Dubbed. And this is the Bonnie Tyrant episode, which I had made a previous discussion about a while, like a while, but oh my gosh, I, that was a long time ago. But, uh, I mean, obviously, I already knew the outcome. Uh, I knew that Bonnie wasn't going to get a tyrant or. I, I, well, it evolved into a Tyrantrum. I know it wasn't going to happen, but uh, I feel like it, I mean, I understand why, but I mean, it, it's definitely a miss, missed opportunity right there. Uh, I, I love the fact that they really showed off the relationship that Tyrant and Bonnie built up during, during the course of the episode. Uh, I do have one question though. If Tyrant is a rock dragon, why does he have fur? I don't understand that. It seems like Pokemon that should not have fur have fur. It's really weird. They need to they need to you know, they need to differentiate the thing. Like if a Pokemon is supposed to be like a steel type, there's no reason it should have you know fur. And if a Pokemon is made out of rock, it should not have fur either. It's a freaking rock dragon monster just, anyway my point is uh they had they, they really they really showcased them getting close together and all the stuff they were doing together time was acting like a baby i don't know if it was a newborn you know it was just revived from its fossil and it's just getting used to the new world but uh bonnie was acting like a mother it was adorable i mean anytime anytime we have a bonnie episode i'm always gonna have fun uh, because Bonnie is my favorite X and Y character, and uh, it's just great to see see the dynamic between the two. Uh, I will I will say I'm not as mad that Team Rocket was here because it really helped flesh out Bonnie even more. With uh, you know obviously the fact that Team Rocket wants to steal a tyrant and. See, this is this is the type of episode that makes me want to see Bonnie in an actual battle. Like, I want to see her participate in like a tournament. That's why I wanted the tournament art because, I mean, Bonnie was handling herself against Team Rocket. She, she was, she was, she was going in like she had a Dene, she had Bonobi doing stuff. Like, I mean, if she knew that, if she knew any of Tyrant's moves, I'm pretty sure she would have commanded something too. I'm just, I don't know. I I just feel like that that needs to be a thing. Uh. I also loved the fact that at the end of the episode, or well, near the end of the episode, when uh, basically Tyrant is being taken by Team Rocket, how like they ha they did this thing where like Team Rocket literally took Bonnie off of the, the 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 thing that was trapping Tyrant and threw her off, which caused Tyrant to like freak out. Uh, because like I said, they were so close together, and they were really able to showcase that it was he was getting so pissed off that he like evolved, which is something that they they do uh, use a lot, but it's always so effective. And like he broke through what was holding on, just jumped, you know, just dove right down, grabbed Bonnie, and make sure she landed. You know, I mean, he just boom. <laughs> and the tyrant just went in like oh my gosh uh or tyrantrum tyrantrum just went in and just wrecked team rocket and bonnie was like thank you and then like clem was gonna catch it but then i couldn't because it wasn't wasn't a wild pokemon and the scientists show up and then they go back to the lab and I'm just sitting there like really feeling bad for Bonnie because like they, that was a relationship. That was like them actually. Uh, and honestly, I understand research, but I mean, for fuck's sake, this is a little girl. And the Tyrantrum was happy with her. Like the Tyrantrum was having just the best time of his life with this little girl. And you're going to separate them because, huh? I mean, Tyrantrum was following. Like he... They had they had to pull the same bullshit they do when when a Pokemon is being left behind, where the Pokemon will follow the trainer and they're like, no, you can't come with me. You have to stay here. 
like if you have to go that far, you might as well just give her the damn Pokemon. You don't need a fifty billion Tyrantrums to study, okay? You have four already, and then at least a couple of Tyrants left. You don't need all of them. I'm just saying, you should have given it to her. She deserved it. I mean, I'm just gonna say that right now. The, bo the reasoning behind it was bullshit. There is no, you don't need that many Pokemon at all to do anything. This is this is a bond you just broke. I mean, granted that officially means that, she, if, like, honestly, I think if they do another, if they if they do an X and Y with a, our Ash's story in X and Y, and the new crew needs to include Bonnie, and she needs to go get that tyrant or that tyrantrum and keep it to herself. To be like, hey, yo, scientist bitches, I'm back with my Tyrantrum. Give it to me right now. I'm just saying that she deserves it. Um, honestly, that would have been a powerhouse for her. Like, Jesus Christ. Can you imagine bonding with a Tyrantrum? Jesus. But yeah, uh, fun episode overall. Uh, of course, the, the the moment at the end was really great. Uh, and I can't wait to see more. Uh, I found out that next week we are getting the, or at least... From my understanding, we're getting the Hoopa movie uh, alongside the uh, episode, which I don't even remember what episode it is. Um, but uh, so we're gonna get, I guess, so you're basically gonna get an episode plus the movie review. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. If it's back to back, I'll probably no, no. I think if it's, even if it's back to back, I think I'll do just two two reviews. Because I really want to focus on this movie, especially because of how big it's been portrayed to be. Um, so I really want to dedicate the whole review to that movie. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch both. Which means you're going to get the review later than you normally would. Unless there's a break. If there's a break between the movie and the, or the episode and the movie... Uh, I'll upload the, re the review for the episode first and then uh, come back and make a video for the movie. But if they're back to back, that means you're gonna get the episode review way later. So just saying, you know, maybe you know, be prepared for that. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Link in the description uh, where you can go watch the episode later on during the day. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sorus Proxy, and I'll see you guys in future videos.